Hey everybody, I'm back with an exciting video. So today I have something different to share with you guys. I actually have my first ever Super Tarts order. So if you've never heard of Super Tarts, it's a company, I think it was based off of Etsy before. Um, so it's just like a small company and um, they, they make their own wax, like handmade. It's not a huge um, company like Scentsy is. So I kind of wanted to support, um, you know, small businesses. And also I just wanted to try, you know, different wax that's out there because I'm a wax addict and I love candles, I love wax. Scentsy is my favorite, um, hence the reason why I'm a Scentsy consultant. But I just wanted to try something different. And I've heard that these are super strong and I love my scent to be super strong. So we'll see, I did order a lot. <laughs> This is kind of like a to me from me Christmas gift. So, oh, sorry about the shake in the camera. Um, so we'll pop this bad boy open. It came pretty fast. Uh, I can't tell you exactly the day that I ordered it, but it wasn't that long ago. Um, they do restocks, which is exciting. Um, they have like 500 cents to choose from. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would try something different. Um, so. May be good, may, may not be good. They do have a, um, a Facebook group of people that, you know, give reviews of their favorites. And, um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun. So, we'll see. it. And it's, it's like, fandom-based. So, it's based off of, like, movies and shows and different characters. So, it's pretty fun. And um, she has, like, really pretty designs in her wax. So, I'll quit talking and I'll just show you guys. So, I have a lot to show. So first I have Susan, and I love Super Tarts since they um, put the description on the actual packaging. Thank you. <laughs> I don't understand why these wax companies don't put the description on their packaging. Like, you pick up a candle from Yankee Candle. You don't know what it smells like. You just know what the name of it is, and you're just going to have to, like, you know, get whatever you can from it and hope that you're right. Uh, Scentsy, they only have the descriptions online, so does Yankee Candle, but not on the packaging. I don't understand why they do that, so thank you Super Tarts, because <laughs> I can't tell you what this smells like off the top of my head sometimes. Um, so this is called Susan, and as you can tell, it's from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, um, that character is, and so this one says chocolate or, is it orchard, orchard, fireside, cotton candy frosting, and mallow fluff kind of like marshmallow fluff. So I love really sweet scent, so we'll see how this one smells. I'm gonna show you what the wax looks like first. So it kind of looks like snow. I love how it's got like two different colors. Look at that, that's really cool. Ooh, this one's really nice. It is kind of messy though, as you can see. So I'm getting mostly cotton candy. Um, Not really fireside. Obviously, when I warm it up, it's going to probably smell different. But yeah, right off the bat, I'm getting that cotton candy frosting. And I really like that. I love cotton candy. <sighs> that one's really nice. It's kind of light, though, so we'll see um, if it's stronger whenever it's warmed. And then next, I have Nebula. And this one is Lavender Martini and Sandalwood. And it's a purple wax. It looks like one of them Pop-Tarts. It's really cool. Ooh, okay, this is really nice. Oh, I love this. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, it's just a perfect mix of the lavender and sandalwood. This is going in my bedroom, like, now. <laughs> oh, okay, this is going to be... Probably a repurchase if it performs really good. I'm going to have to get this one. More of it. Like, a lot. Oh, okay. That one's just really nice and relaxing. Perfect mix. Lavender, martini, and sandalwood. So, Nebula. Definitely going to love that one. Alright, next we have... Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, so next we have Nightmare Before Christmas. My favorite movie as a kid. I still love it. One of my favorites still. It's um, herbal lavender, sweet candy canes, and fluffy cotton candy. Oh, I'm so excited. So red wax on the back. These are hard to open. And then purple. It's got bones for bone daddy. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting that cotton can or candy canes. Sweet candy canes. 
So let's see, once I warm it up. I'm getting the lavender. What else was in there? Cotton candy. I don't know, it's just a perfect mix. I wouldn't have thought that all of that would have gone really well together, but it really does. I like that. I like that a lot. So that is Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going to have to start warming that one while it's still Christmas time. Alrighty, next we have Miracle on 34th Street. This is fresh fallen leaves, creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallow. Ooh, this sounds really good. <laughs> I've heard this one's um, a, a girl that I follow on YouTube. It's her favorite. She warms it like all year round. Ooh, it's glittery. Can you see? It says believe. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, sorry. Oh my goodness, uh, the lighting sucks. <laughs> oh, okay, this smells like pumpkin. The pumpkin pie, yep. Mmm, it's just like a des delicious, creamy pumpkin. <sighs> that one's really good. Toasted marshmallow, yeah, I think that's probably giving it the creaminess. Ooh, that one's really nice. I could see me warming that one like fall through winter. So that one's really good. All right, next we have Alfie. And he has fluffy marshmallows, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. He's like the little elf on the shelf. Red on the back. Looks like we got green on the front. Let's see. Yeah, look at him. He's a little elf. Cute. I love how they do that. Okay, this smells delicious. It smells like sugar cookies off, right off the bat. And I smell marshmallow. I'm not really getting candy cane, so I guess maybe once I warm it, I'll get that more. I'm just getting sugar cookies and marshmallows. Oh, that's so good. I want to eat it. Okay, <laughs> next we have, oh, this one's one of their new releases. Um, they have, like, different series and stuff, so they just released a whole, like, Wonka... Really Wonka series, so I got Wonka. And this is chocolate, amber, marshmallow cream, spun sugar, slight caramel drizzle, and vanilla confection. Ooh, that's a lot. That's gonna be, I'm gonna probably get diabetes just smelling this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, and it's got like the, is it like the Wonka hat? I don't know if y'all can see. Ooh, this isn't really as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, wait, never mind, it is. <laughs> Once I warm it up, it is. It smelled more like warm whenever I um, first smelled it. All right, yeah, that's super sweet. It just smells like candy. I got the amber. That's what I got whenever I first smelled it. And now once I warmed it up, I'm getting like that spun sugar and then the vanilla confection, like just those sugary, sweet smells. But that's really nice. I've heard a lot of people love this one too, so I'm excited to try that. Next we have, oh this, I guess it's supposed to be like that, Optimus, it looked like, like it's sideways, but this is the right design, or right way, <laughs> this is Raspberry Zinger Birthday Cake, I don't remember getting this one, I guess I did, oh I'm getting waxed all over my table, <laughs> so this one looks like one of those little pop tart drizzle things again, super cool. Um, let's see. I'm getting mostly just that raspberry. The raspberry zinger. Not so much birthday cake. I can, I, I don't know. I'm not really too crazy about this one. It's just a weird, like, tart raspberry smell. It's not sweet to me. So I don't know about that one. We'll have to try it. Next I have Ronan. These are from the, I believe it's um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Gosh, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> um, so this one is the Omen blended with herbal lavender. And I've always heard a lot of people love the Omen, whatever mix that is. I think it's kind of like a clean mix. I'm not sure. Um, but I love lavender, so that's pretty much why I got it. <laughs> there we go with the design. Oh yeah, this smells like a clean, 
refreshing scent. Oh, this is going in my bathroom. That's so nice. It's like a relaxing kind of beach smell, like clean beach smell. I don't know. I love this one. So far, my favorites have been <laughs> have been this collection. So, yes, I love that. Um, let's see. Next we have It's a Bird, It's a Plane. And it is graham crackers and toasted marshmallows. You can see it's red on the back and then yellow. Super light. But I definitely get that graham cracker. Mostly graham cracker and then you kind of get that warm toasted marshmallow. You can definitely tell it's toasted unlike the other ones, which is really cool how you can, I mean, how you can smell it's actually toasted. That one's really nice. It is really light though, so we'll have to try it, but I've always heard that hers are super strong, so I don't, I and mean, I just got these from outside, so it's kind of cold out there anyways. So that could be why it's kind of light to my nose right now. Next I have Nutcracker. This one is um, Yognog, Yognog, <laughs> Hazelnut Christmas Cookies and Whipped Cream Cappuccino. Ooh, that one's going to be really good. Look at it. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at it. Looks like a um, pecan or something. It's all glittery. These designs are so cool. Oh, my God. It smells so good. Oh, stuff just went flying. This smells so good. Uh, it just smells like sweet, like a bakery. Just a straight up bakery. Uh, warm and sweet, like fresh baked cookies or something. That is nice. Next, I have Hills Have Eyes. Fireside, Golden Amber, Marshmallow, and Toasted Hazelnut. You can probably see a theme going on here. Almost everything has either lavender or marshmallows. <laughs> so, there's the design. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. I don't know. But, let's see. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. This one's super weird. I think it's that toasted hazelnut. It smells like peanut butter. <laughs> like really, that's all I'm getting is just peanut butter. I don't know about that one. We'll have to we'll have to try it. <laughs> Next, I have Meet Me in St. Louis. Scram crackers, sugar milk, and creamy eggnog. I love the smell of eggnog. And there's just some pretty, look at all that glitter. Super cool. Smell, um, see it's white on the back and blue on the front. Oh my gosh. That is really nice. Sorry about my crazy hair. It just smells creamy and sweet. I, I think I'm getting mostly that sugar milk. With just like a hint of that creamy eggnog. And a little bit of the graham cracker. Not too much. That one's really nice. So, it's not too much eggnog though. I was really wanting a lot of eggnog. <laughs> but maybe once we warm it, it'll be better. This one is White Christmas. Peppermint Frosted Cranberries. Serendipity and Vanilla Bean Gelato. Ooh. It just says Merry Christmas. It's all glittery. Okay, this one's super strong. And it smells delicious. Okay. Oh, I'm getting that frosted cranberry. Mmm. It's super sweet. I'm getting like that vanilla bean gelato. I'm not getting a lot of peppermint. But the cranberries and the vanilla bean. 
That is delicious. Super sweet and strong. This one has probably been the strongest one I've smelled so far. Next one is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Um, creamy spiked eggnog and apple cider. Hopefully we get more um, eggnog from this one. It just says December 25th. I'm getting, uh, it kind of smells more like a fall scent, so I'm guessing it's the apple cider. With a hint of the eggnog, but it's more like a spicy scent. Yeah, the apple cider is probably like the most dominant smell in this one. That one's really nice, and it's stronger than some of these other ones I've smelled, so I do like that one. Oh, I'm losing some of my bars. Next, I have Elm Street. This one is pumpkin creme brulee, brulee, toasted marshmallow, and sweet cornbread. And you can just see the slash marks in there. Ooh, that one's really nice. Definitely get that pumpkin. Like a, like a spicy pumpkin smell. Um... I think I'm smelling that toasted marshmallow. It's just a sweet, spicy, kind of pumpkin smell. I've probably saved that one more for fall. This one is Day of the Dead. It says pecan pie, creme brulee, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This one has skull and bones. Got some of these little wormy things. Okay. Getting mostly pecan pie. Oh yeah, this is sweet. Really sweet. Mmm, smells like a bakery. Like a sweet bakery. As you can tell, I love the sweet scents. That's what I went with mostly. Oh, that one's really nice. That one's probably another one I'd probably save for fall though. You don't have to, but it does remind me of fall. So I'll probably save that one for fall. And the next one is 28 Days Later. This is blueberry pumpkin patch, cake batter, vanilla ice cream, and cranberry preserves. Ooh, this one's going to be really good. You can already tell. I don't know what that's supposed to be. What is that design supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can even tell. But yeah, so it's like a black wax. Never seen a black wax before. This is really good. I'm getting mostly that cranberry. Is that all I'm getting? Yeah, it's just a sweet cranberry scent. I should probably be smelling the bottom of these, but... Oh, this one's already coming out. Um... I'm just still getting that sweet cranberry, so that's what I'm smelling mostly. So we'll have to see. I really want to smell the blueberry part. So hopefully that will kind of come out more when it's warmed. Come on now, I can't get this back in there. Okay. <laughs> but that one's really good. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is The Hills. I used to love that show, you guys. I watched all of it. This is Beechwood, SoCal, Hollister, Rain, and Vanilla Sandalwood. This one is super glittery. I can already tell. Holy crap. Look at all that glitter. And you can see the champagne glasses. Blue. And then the white glitter. Oh yeah, it's super girly. It's like a perfume. I'm not sure what the SoCal Hollister smells like, but I'm smelling mostly like a clean kind of beach smell. This will definitely go either in my laundry room or the bathroom. Definitely like a clean beach smell. Kind of just smells like your, you know, like the ocean wave smell. Oh gosh, look at the bottom. You can see all that glitter. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's super, super clean and girly. This next one is Saw. It is sweet cranberry preserves, buttery pie crust, and smooth vanilla cream. You can see like all like the blood splatters. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Mmm. I got a lot of 
about cranberry scents. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Because this kind of smells like one of the other ones I just smelled. What one was that? Kind of smells like 28 days later. Ooh, this one's better. Ugh, come on. Ooh, so good. You can just smell like the butter and the cranberry definitely. With the vanilla. Oh, that one's really good. Okay, I'm excited about that one. Next we have Gryffindor. Super excited about this one. This is Frosted Lemon Meringue Cheesecake with Raspberry Glaze. You can see kind of like, it looks like a cheesecake. <laughs> like a raspberry cheesecake. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that lemon. Oh, this is a delicious lemon. I just smell mostly lemon, like lemon meringue. I don't smell anything else. Let me see what the bottom of it smells like. Oh, just a sweet lemon pie is what it smells like to me. Oh, that one's really good. Next we have Logan. This is Black Tie, Amber Romance, Clove, and Driftwood. I think this is, is this the Logan from Gilmore Girls? Because I love Gilmore Girls. You jump, I jump, Jack. I don't know, maybe not. This is super clean. Um, maybe the driftwood is what I'm getting the most. Uh, I don't know. I was hoping it would smell like a sexy masculine smell, but so far I'm just getting like a clean soapy smell. I can't get it out. Yeah, it just smells like soap. Mm -mm. I don't know about that one. I mean, it'll be good to put in the laundry room, I guess. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably do it there. Next, I have Elsa. This is cotton candy ice cream. You can see Elsa colors, obviously. It's got snowflakes and glitter. Oh my gosh. It smells like cotton candy. Mm-hmm. Very light, though, so. Um, I'm hoping these are going to be stronger once I warm them. If you guys have tried any of these scents, comment down below and let me know how you liked them. And these are, these are so messy. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to clean my table real good after this. I'm getting wax everywhere. Yeah, so it's super light. We'll have to see how it performs whenever I warm it. And is that all? Oh no, she gave me like a little goodie bag. Let's see what she included. So here's her card with all her information. She included a lollipop and let's see what is this sample of holiday latte she could probably tell from what I picked that I like latte kind of smells ooh okay that smells like a straight up like you're brewing coffee that is really nice oh that's so good just smells like fresh brewed coffee Love it. So I might have to get that one too. There's a bunch that I'm wanting from her. I really want the Beauty and the Beast. Um, Belle. Um, Harry, like all like the Harry Potter ones. But they're all out of stock. And um, so I have to wait till they're restocked. To order those. So yeah, so far I think my top favorites were these two. I'm really excited about them. The Ronin and Nebula. Oh my gosh, these are so good. But I have a whole pile of like all the ones that I really like. Nebula is my favorite. Okay, so that is my Super Tarts order. Sorry about the super long video. 
Um, hopefully you guys have tried any of these scents and you can give me some tips or advice or anything down below. Tell me what your favorite super tart scents are um, or which ones I should pick up next once they do a restock. <laughs> and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.